the truth. This is my bike. Today, we're gonna go through a few things you can actually do to your bike. Tips and life hacks, that's what we're calling this video. We're calling it 10 mountain bike life hacks and tips that could save your life. They're worth it. I'm sorry, I'm gonna put my phone somewhere. Okay, well, really, um, the first life hack or tip, I guess you could say is, well, when you check your bike, you want to make sure that it's clean. You know, a clean bike is a fast bike. Overall, it should be really clean. I just put my bike upside down and I just clean it. So I really just take the hose on a nice medium setting. I just give my bike a good spray. I don't like blast it. If you are pressure washing it, that's a bad idea. If you're going to, you want it to be a mist and you want to be standing like maybe five meters away from it or four at the most. I actually take a toilet brush. Make sure that you don't actually use it for a toilet. This is dirty because I used it on my cassette. Um, my cassette is, this is the wrong side. Um, what I do is I take some soap, preferably car wash soap, and I just put it on the brush. I wet it a bit and then I just scrub everything. Now one thing that a lot of people do when they clean their bike, they clean the chain and that gets rid of all of the lube. And they also clean their disc brakes. You should never really actually go and touch disc brakes with your hands. Your hands are really oily. Uh, there's oil in your skin, you don't want to touch it. It's a very bad thing to do, so don't do it. And then when uh, you leave your bike in the sun, it actually dries really quick. And it also shows you areas that you miss, so that's helpful too. Another tip, when you're putting your bike down, you don't want to just like get off of it ghost your bike you know what that is right no you don't ghosting is basically when you jump off or in your bike just your bike just basically goes and it does its own thing if it falls onto its side really hard it could damage something so the proper way to really put your bike down is to gently get off your bike and you slowly put it down it's better another thing if you're wanting to just leave your bike on a curb or something, you can actually take the pedal and you don't want to pedal it forward, you actually want to put it back. So you basically just go like back and then you just, you want to basically put your foot and you want it to be level to the curb and then it, it should just stand up. Another hack, this is a good hack, if you're far away from where you began your ride and you're running tubeless tires like me. I've had this problem once, but if you are chewing gum, it's very, it's a weird life hack, but so you take the sidewall and the part that has the tear or whatever, you know, you can actually stick your gum onto it and it should hold for at least a kilometer or two until you get to a place that you can change your tire or uh, make that repair. You could also use a patch, but if you don't have that on you, then it's it's an easy, easy thing to do. You just need to go and get a pump. Most gas stations have pumps. If you have a certain bike that has a different valve, you can actually get adapters for that. I have an adapter on my bike. I actually have two adapters, so I have one on this tire, one on this tire, so then maybe if one adapter gets lost, then I have the other one. And then if that one, then, you know, vice versa. So I have, this is really cool. So the adapters, so the adapters you can get at your local bike shop for two bucks, um, it's worth it. You'd want to have this if you have a flat. And uh, I have this cap made for the bigger valve. If you have noticed by now, I'm, I'm just using a bike, bike lock to hold my bike up. The next thing is actually very helpful. If you're going to be biking for a while, two things. Number one, you need money and you also want to have um, you do definitely want to take a dump before you go. It clears your bowels, your, your uh, digestive system, you know, the part that you will need to like, you know, use your body, it'll be cleared up so you can do more. Then you won't have to like, you know, take giant crap while your friend is waiting outside and he'll be like, what, what's taking so long, man? 
another thing you'd want to know is right now I don't have lock on grips but I'm gonna go get some lock on grips you know why you should get lock on grips because they do not slide off easy they actually screw onto your handlebars and they will not come off if there's water into the bars speaking of which if you want to get your your grips off very easily just take some water just at the edge of the grip you just want to take your finger and just kind of pry it open and then pour the water in and try to jiggle it off but that's what she said <laughs> you can't see very well but on the other side of right over here I'm actually using a chain uh, guard it's something that protects your chain because when you're doing jumps your back uh, the, your back side of your wheel or your the chain kind of whips onto the bar and it causes just a gross kind of mark it's very helpful to wrap it in some electrical tape if you don't have that you can I guess you could try using some duct tape there's skateboard tape you could use there's a lot of things you could use to make a chain guard if you look at your bike sometimes it already comes with a clear kind of guard that almost protects it but not quite and you can buy customizable tape to wrap it around and it protects your bar and it's very nice and it's customizable one tip if you guys are finding it trouble to do bunny hops, it may be because if your seat is really high, you're scared because you're gonna hit your butt off of your seat. So drop your saddle really low, and then when you get really comfortable with it, you won't have to have it as low. Like you can start to have it higher so that you can, you know, you can really get the jumps. Another thing is if you guys have zip ties laying around and there's a bunch of wild cords. I don't have many wild cords around because I use zip ties to keep them all together. On the front there's a there's about four wires, there's two for your brakes and there's two to change gears. What you should do is you should neatly kind of put a zip tie here and I put a zip tie right here. Just make sure that you can actually turn freely. If you can't turn then uh, you know you're screwed. Now, uh, one thing that you should know is with your brakes, if you hear a squeak that could sound something like that could mean two things. Number one, your discs have oil on it. It could mean WD-40. And if you haven't known, WD-40 is not a lubricant. It's actually a cleaning solvent. Now, with your brakes, you want to check, check the functionality first. If you can brake and it's squeaky, that, that might be normal, except um, if you're like, if it does not really come to a stop, that's a problem. So that means that your disc pads might need to be cleaned. Now, if it's not stopping instantly, like if it's not doing, if it's not doing this, then it might mean that something else is wrong. It might also mean that your disc is bent. You can take it in or you can get new ones. You'd also want to clean the disc with some rubbing alcohol. You know, just put it on, scrub it, try to get all the dirt off, you know, the grease and the whatever it is. And don't touch it with your fingers because it's, it's bad. With the lever, you want to make sure that if it feels spongy, that might mean that you need to bleed your disc brakes. That's not always the case because your brakes are usually really good depending on what bike you have, you know. If you have a Walmart bike, I would just like throw it off a bridge, you know, it's not it's not actually as good as you might think it is. Now, for customization, water bottle holders, you know, like valve dust caps, zip ties. I would try not to go with your with the color of your bike's body. You might want an accent color. You might not be able to see it. But there's a little bit of yellow on it. So my bike has three colors. There's black, orange, and there's yellow. So I was thinking about buying some yellow zip ties and some yellow valve caps. This is the most I've ever talked in a video. I probably haven't done 10 tips and life hacks. I don't know. I don't care though. I'm not keeping track. So if you want maybe another video like this in the future, then consider subscribing because this might be a video on the future I might make a series dedicated to biking I'm gonna go to bed and I'm gonna bike tomorrow so I'm not doing that you can cut that out
Bye.